Welcome back to Plowman's Backyard once again. Um, well, we ended up getting rid of the rest of our roosters and we kept our main rooster, our buff Orpington. Now that we've got all of the barn and the coop all cleaned out, ready for winter, we've got it plasticed up. We um, did all the plastic the other day, everything is set. I'm now gonna clean out the run or the coop that the roosters were staying in. Okay. So this is where our roosters were staying. We did end up building this um, last year or the year before. So now that our roosters are gone, it is my job to clean this place up and prepare it because we are getting some new chickens here at Palman's Backyard and I'm so excited. We are getting some partridge Chanticleers. So my job right now is to clean up this area. As you can see, this is all open here. Um, we, what we're going to do is put some boards across here we're going to make some nest boxes, um, make sure that we got enough room that we can actually swing the door open, keep kind of a smaller place for them to keep warm. Um, we did already get all this all plasticed up. I think it's going to be really great. We're only probably going to get like maybe five or six, so it should be big enough for them. So we're going to get a rooster and we're going to get some hens. We're hoping that these chickens, we know they go broody. We're hoping that we can get away from even um, incubating our own egg, which, you know, me, I probably still will. But we're getting into um, full heritage breeds. And I do have heritage breeds here already. Um, we're trying to get away from all the hybrid birds. Not that they're not lovely, but um, we want things to be kept as natural as possible. Anyways, I'm going to bring you along for that video. So I want you to stay tuned. I'm going to take you along while we go and pick up our new chickens because it's, we also have some exciting news as to where we're getting them from. I think it's going to be a great video. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And you're not going to want to miss that video. We're super excited. Excited, so I need to get to work and clean this place up. I hope you enjoy this little update as we are increasing our numbers. Of course, who can say no to new chickens? Me, I can't. It's a little chilly out, but a little bit of work can warm me up real quick. So I'm just going to basically um, do what I did with the the hens coop. Um, gonna clean this all up. Um, get some. Get rid of some of this old wood chips wash out these uh, water containers. Uh, Jason's going to build some nest boxes in the back. We're going to put some roosts in. We've already plasticed it up when we did our other coop. I think it's going to be really great. Um, we're going to keep them separate because we want to have um, separate um, a separate breed line. Um, we don't want them mixing in with our other birds. Really excited. These are great dual purpose um, birds. Anyways, thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe because you can come along and you won't miss out on our trip to go get our new chickens. We had them when we first started with chickens about five years ago. We actually only had partridge chanticleers and we just got away from them. But um, we want to get back into it. We do still have one here. I want to say she's probably like eight, nine years old. So um, she doesn't lay anymore, but she was one of our first from our first flock and it's hard to get rid of her. So we're pretty excited. We're going to get more just like her. I hope you're enjoying these chicken videos because I know we enjoy them. It's a lot of work, but it's also a lot of fun. It's crazy. One of them's got a frog and the other one's chasing it. So it's kind of funny. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching.